my dreams coming when true. Went and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right or wrong, fair or right, you know what's up with me, nigga. Never change on my gang, yeah, I'm stuck with my niggas. When I'm touchable, come run the money up with me, nigga. Went and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right. Yo, what's poppin' too, Katie? And this your boy, <sighs> Supreme Katie, man. We back in a cut with some more news updates. Now, I'll rip, drop a like on this video, bro. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes only because we the loudest niggas doing this. All my videos are authentic. I bring that real information. Now, we go from there. Now, I'll rip. I'll credit go to my boy DJ Academic. See, bring the videos. I give y'all my point of view. Give y'all some more details on what I found. And we tear from there. Now, if you hear noise in the background, you got to ignore it. As you can see, I'm in a hotel. Y'all boys been spamming me with this. So, I'm finna knock it out. Now, we got my boy NBA Young Boy, bro. I gave y'all the last update when bro, we all know the situation, him and his bro was in a hotel, he did this, he got caught up, he went to jail, and he just bonded out recently on a $75,000 bill, you know what I'm saying, but basically, they indicted bro, which means, now he, even though Shorty didn't want to press charges, bro forced to go to, take it to trial, and do all, you know what I'm saying, like he forced to do this because of the people, I don't know what to call him, like the jury, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they making this go on. Even though Shorty like, oh, I'm not, I don't want to press charges on him. They like, so what? We seen the video. We going to make it. You feel me? You going to go through with this no matter if you want to do it or not. You know what I'm saying? So she could say, um, we was seeing who got more balance. He was pulling me. We was boxing. We was slap boxing. At the end of the day, the video show, bro, picking her up, throwing her down, dragging her, pulling off her shirt. So they going to go. They don't care, you feel me, what Shorty got to say. You don't think this stuff happen all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's say somebody do run. People be in love, you feel me? She run a dude over with the car. Dude, like, I don't want to press charges. So what, bro? We finna get him for attempted murder. You know what I'm saying? So basically, that's what they saying. Young boy got to go through. He get indicted. Now, he probably still out. People thought that when they said he got indicted, that they probably just took him right back to jail. Because I seen in the comments, people were saying free him. But so it's a possibility he's still out on that $75,000 bill. You know what I'm saying? Or he may just got pulled back in. You never know. But just because he got indicted don't mean they brought him back in. You feel me? Because he had dropped a video on Instagram and deleted it real quick. When everybody was like, free him, free him. Then they got on this thing. Like, stop saying free me. You know what I'm saying? Like. So we finna get on here, man. Y'all boys know the edit method. Let's get it, man. Got it. Check it up, son. Check it out now. Somebody on my Instagram comment section called this motherfucker UFC Youngboy. Now, if you guys don't know, man, my guy NBA Youngboy never broke again. Youngboy, very weird name. However, he was locked up recently for beating the shit out of his girlfriend. Okay, he power slammed her and gave her a slight RKO. Now, he got locked up, but he bailed out for 75000 and people were saying, yo, he's going to be getting out of Scott's free despite what we see on camera because his girlfriend basically was about to drop a mixtape saying, my nigga ain't beat me. We was just playing. Now, unfortunately, that's not how the law goes. The law is supposed to protect victims even if the victims don't realize they're victims themselves or if the victims themselves feel so threatened that they don't want to press charges. So, of course, his girlfriend wasn't going to press charges, but the cops just reviewed the video and they looked at all the evidence. They apparently talked to a couple other people and they said, yo, we're going along with charges regardless. They put it front of a grand jury that could issue an indictment. An indictment means it'll go to court and it has to get some type of resolution, whether guilty, not guilty, or him taking a plea of guilt maybe to something else. So he got indicted on two charges officially, which is aggravated assault and kidnapping. So basically his girlfriend can't help him. Now, could his girlfriend show up to court and testify on his behalf? Yes, that might help him in court. However, she can't make these charges just go bye-bye. Can't make it go away. He's going to have to go to court. He's going to have to use his lawyers. He's going to have to then answer to his probation judge about why he's going to court and has a real case for domestic abuse. And because of all that, he could still get violated whether he gets convicted or not. So clearly, uh, it's a very sticky situation for him. We did see him get on Twitter, and he started tweeting out some weird shit, which I don't know, so man. I couldn't about. tell if this was NBA Youngboy or Lil Xan tweeting, but... He tweeted out, he said, just need to hurry up and die so the shit can be over. I'm not too sure if he's talking about that case, but young boy, I hope you hold your head. I know you might be going through some trying times, and if it does relate to your legal situations, I hope the people around you are keeping you in high spirits rather than just kind of beating down on you. You did fuck up. I'm going to say, you fucked up. But I do believe that if people care for you, they should help you, and they should try to make sure you're in a position where this never happens again. Get a comment box, make you guys like them, subscribe. What do you guys think about this? He officially got indicted, man. There's going to be a trial, or there's going to be conversation okay. about pleas, but these charges definitely will go before a judge. Right. Okay? Let's see if he beats the case. Boy Academics, get so in the comment box. Oh. And saying he indicted, basically saying he is back in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, he bro got out, got some fresh air. They came right back at the door. Time's up, like recess type shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, look. 
Damn, it's a lot this nigga just said. So look, basically, what my bro DJ Academics was saying, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying earlier, in the last review, bro, he got the uh the little case going on. You feel me? With his um 10 year suspended sentence with three years probation. You know what I'm saying? So basically they give you room to mess up. Soon as you mess up, we pulling you in for that 10 year sentence. You know what I'm saying? So basically they saying the um prosecutors, they already tried to get bro 10. They told his probation officer, like, forget that, bro gonna hit this 10. You feel me? They asked the judge to give him 10, but somehow he ended up getting out on the $75,000 bill. They show that God on little bro's side, you know what I'm saying? We all make mistakes, we all do little dumb stuff, you feel me? Everybody ain't perfect, my nigga. You done did something, you feel me? Like, I done got so many story times about me stealing as a youngin', you feel me? So we all do stuff. But look, bro got that 10 year suspended sentence, and he probably violated his probation. But as far as the weapon, you feel me, the weapon charges, nobody really speaking on that. Everybody is speaking on the main topic, which is the NBA young boy and his girlfriend situation. Nobody's saying nothing about the uh, weapons, you know what I'm saying? So therefore, he probably didn't violate his probation, you feel me? He probably did because he got in trouble. He was supposed to stay out of trouble. But as far as the weapons, you know what I'm saying? Them was the main things. Weapon, like he got to stay out of, um, he got to stay away from weapons, away from drugs. He didn't get caught with none of that. He got caught with a weapon, but we still don't know what type of weapon it was. They ain't speak out on it. They ain't say if it was a firearm, brass knuckles, anything is a weapon, bro. They could label tweezers as a weapon. You know what I'm saying? Jail, niggas filing two brushes. That's a weapon. You feel me? So anything could be a weapon if you're using it in the wrong way. If I get these beats and start slanging them at you, they gonna label this as a weapon. You know what I'm saying? So anything could be a weapon. They ain't say firearm or abuse. You feel me? Gun abuse or nothing like that. So he probably straight when it comes to that, but he still possibly violated his probation by getting in trouble. So that's what they saying, like, he gonna have to take it to trial. Like he said, this song, take it to trial, pay the law, he beat the case, he gonna have to take it to trial, and then he gonna have to go up to his probation officer and let him know why he getting in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably, that's probably the biggest, the biggest thing, like, to be worried about. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I feel like the girl, she can't, let's face it, bro, shorty can't get bro out this situation. It ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? They not worried about what she talking about. Had that camera not been there and somebody else said they seen it, like, oh, I saw him slam him. We ain't got no camera. And she like, he ain't slam me. He, he, he straight. Is he say, she say. They can't take the uh, witness over the victim, my nigga. If the victim say he ain't beat me and ain't no video, he ain't beat me. You know what I'm saying? But we got a camera, nigga. So forget what the witness say. Old dude that was getting in the elevator, if he seen something, forget what he say. Forget what she say. Nigga, we got the video right here. Like, we can rewind it, play forward, back it up. It's all over Instagram, you know what I'm saying? So, no matter what Shorty say, it's up to the uh, it's up to the government, my nigga. It's up to the probation officers, up to the police, it's up to the jewelry, it's up to all that. It's out of her hands, it's out of his hands, it's out of all of everybody's hands. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, y'all boys want to know about this topic. If you ain't seen my other NBA young boy update, bro, Go check them out, nigga. I'm pretty sure y'all niggas know about this. Every time y'all see me, y'all run into me and be like, bro, you be doing it young boy? So a lot of my supporters, nigga, is really from these, you feel me, videos. I'm not a news reporter, though. I just react and do this type of shit. So y'all niggas rock with my energy. I bring that authentic information. So we're going to continue to do that. But go check out some of the other ones. They'll slide across the top. will be at the end of this video. Make sure you drop a like on this video. I'm finna hop in that TK um, update next. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe. And we're going to continue to tee up. I got to bring y'all boys some more videos. So I know they got to stop this video. Let's get it, man. Nigga, know the 50,000 on my wrist. Every nigga with me real rich Niggas having pressure by the bitch I got all my cases dismissed I don't go back and forth on the internet Real niggas don't get into that I'm trying to get in on my for real I'm trying to get in on my Me and my dogs, me and my dogs We trying to run your house